All right, one last greatest common factoring video. Once again, I'm starting with my coefficients of 18, 24, and 36. Now, they're all even numbers, which means they're divisible by 2. But they're also all divisible by 3. 3 goes into 18 six times. 3 goes into 24 eight times. And 3 goes into 36 12 times. So if all three are divisible by 2, and all three are divisible by 3, then all three are divisible by 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, so I can factor out a 6. Is that the greatest? I believe it is. I must double check. I'm going to put the 6 right here. Then I'm going to do the division. 18 divided by 6 gives me 3. 24 divided by 6 gives me 4. And 36 divided by 6 is 6. 3, 4, and 6, all three of them have nothing in common. 3 and 6 have something in common, and 4 and 6 has something in common. But 3 and 4 don't have anything in common, so I can't factor out any more greatest common, any more factors from the three of them. So that's it. I'm just going to carry my plus sign and my minus sign down. And now I'll go through my variables. I've got an x, I've got an x squared, and I've got an x cubed. The most you can pull out of all three is just an x. Because you've got x, you've got x squared, which is x times x, and you've got x cubed, which is x times x times x. The most they have in common is just one x. Now, when I pull that out of the first one, when I divide this by x, it just cancels out. When I divide this by x, if you take the x squared and take away the x, you're left with an x. And then if I take x cubed and divide it by an x, I lose one of the x's, but I'm left with these two, x times x, which is x squared. And last but not least, I've got my y's. I got a y cubed, a y squared, and a y. So the most you can pull out there is a y. y cubed divided by y is a y squared. y squared divided by y is just a y. And y divided by y cancels out and it's gone. And here is my factorization. Hope that made sense.